What does it mean? What does it mean to be transgender? Well, how about this for 2020? You know how hard it was for a 39-year-old man to admit that he's always been a woman. Everybody that knows him. And I keep saying him. You see, does that seem normal? Mm -hmm. I admit I'm beautiful. You know you are. Here's the problem, guys. Girls, whoever you are, I don't care. Listen. We're in a country. It's called the United States of America. And people are playing games, lots of games. And it's time to get it together because here in a couple months, no, literally not even that long, I'm scared to death. I'm fucking transgender. Donald Trump will stop all that shit. I guarantee it. Donald Trump is dangerous. <laughs> You're voting for him? Are you bored? You guys got lo love when There's no love left. Commit. Oh, God, love. Jesus, help me. I didn't even start being a politician. I'm not even a politician. I'm a person with a heart. I just love everybody. And I've messed up so much. So much admitting to myself that I'm a woman. Because you imagine how crazy that sounds. But you can clearly see I'm a woman. And anyone that knows me, honey, I've always been a woman. I mean, when I could be as handsome as a man as I was and carry myself as many years as I did blacked out drunk because I didn't want to admit this. Transgender is the hardest thing in the world. But I tell you what, I'm telling you what right now, I am going to be 40 next month. And I, I'm beautiful. Honey, girl, did you see? Is anybody looking? Is anybody looking at what's going on? I'm beautiful. I didn't get to be the prom queen because I was a boy. I was a very handsome one. No, actually, then I wasn't. I didn't have no confidence yet. But and it, it was all fake. I heard the most handsome man as a man that I would want. He's so handsome. He said, that motherfucker upstairs, I transitioned in a jail for four months. Your transition and my transition, mm -mm, not the same, but it's okay. I long to get it done because the hardest part is admitting that you're fucking transgender. But let's get to the big problems that no one's paying attention to at all. First of all, COVID-19 is the least of our problems. The fact that no one cares that it's happening like it is and the blood commander in chief. I said four years ago and I didn't mean it. I did mean it. I always knew it. I said, there's no way he'll win. He's a reality TV star and he's just mean and stupid and very racist and grab a woman by the what? That, just the words that you say it like that is pedophile. The mind, something's wrong. When you've never needed or wanted for anything, you're not okay in the head and you're running our country. You started from day one with hate. The way you treated North Korea, you didn't carry through paper towels like they were footballs. Biden, I don't know you at all. I know you've walked along a great man, Obama. So God, please help us. Can you imagine no Social Security or Medicare in this country? Where are all the old people in the whole nursing homes going to go? The ones you got locked down because of COVID. Somebody get this shit together. It's serious.